U.S. pork industry is dealing with yet another health concern. It's called the Seneca Valley virus, and while different and less significant, it causes clinical signs and lesions the American Association of Swine Veterinarians says are indistinguishable from foot and mouth disease. Because of the associated international trade ramifications of FMD, that makes an appropriate diagnosis of Seneca Valley virus critically important. Earlier this week, we talked with UNL's Dustin Loy to ask what pig producers need to know about the virus. So Seneca Valley virus is a, an RNA virus. It's related to some of the viruses that cause things like foot and mouth disease. Um, it's been around in the United States since probably the late 80s was when they first found it. Uh, and recently, there's been a large increase in the number of cases since late July uh, in the Midwestern states. How does it mirror FMD and why is that such a big deal? So it mirrors FMD in that it, they both cause what are called vesicles or blisters uh, on the feet and the, and the mouth and nose, the snout of the pig. Um, it's a big deal because clinically a veterinarian or a farmer can't tell the difference between uh, really uh, uh, threatening diseases like foot and mouth disease and, and less significant ones like Seneca Valley virus. What does the producer need to look for on his or her operation that shows signs of this problem? Uh, so you're going to want to want to check your pigs. Uh, the well, finishing pigs and sows may show lameness. They may have lesions on uh, on the snout or the mouth. Uh, they may uh, be uh, go off feed a day or two. Um, so be aware of those type symptoms. Uh, in young pigs, it's been reported to cause uh, diarrhea and an increase in pre-weaning mortality. Is there a severity that leads to death or not that far? Um, it's sporadic. Some cases have uh, caused some, some death in, in very young pigs that are still on the sow. Uh, in finishing pigs, adults, and, and sows, there's really uh, no, no mortality associated with the disease. Are there treatment options for the producer? Uh, there, there's no treatment. Uh, currently, the, the disease will resolve itself. Uh, the main thing is to get it diagnosed so that you know it's not a, a threatening disease uh, like foot and mouth uh, and that it is Seneca Valley virus and, and not another one. How widespread is this across the U.S.? Uh, so far, uh, Iowa put out some data last week that they've had 60 cases since the end of July, uh, and those span seven states. Most of those are in the Midwest. And Nebraska has some as well? Uh, Nebraska has had uh, cases reported. How does this thing spread? Uh, it's really unknown how it's spread. Uh, there's been some reports associated with livestock fairs and different uh, commingling of animals, um, but there have been cases that have been isolated, so it's really unknown what the risk factors for spread might be. Like PEDV, do we assume this will be more dangerous in the winter? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, most of the viruses, though, they're more stable when it's cold, so um, it may continue on through the winter due to the, the, the lack of uh, sun and, and UV to degrade the virus in the environment. What biosecurity things should producers be doing on their operations? So they should be uh, practicing their, uh, their routine biosecurity. They want to control animal movement, people movement, uh, equipment movement, and then um, uh, really follow those strict biosecurity practices uh, in, in conjunction with their veterinarian. Once the farm gets hit with this, is there immunity that comes to the pig or sow, or are you liable to break again? Uh, it, it seems like that the, they resolve. So uh, case, uh, farms that have these issues typically will resolve. Uh, they don't see it again. There haven't been reports of sort of the, the re-breaks or the, the re, uh, reinfection of the disease. The major concern with this is just that it mirrors FMD and you need to be aware of it? Yeah, that, that is the major concern. So we're encouraging producers and veterinarians to be aware of this. Uh, if they see any uh, anything suspicious, like lesions on the, the feet, lameness, um, uh, or the snout, that they contact their veterinarian and uh, state animal uh, and federal health officials. Is this a virus that, that's at all a threat to humans? So no, there, there's uh, been uh, no threats to humans. There's no, no effect to the pork supply. Uh, so I want to establish that there's no real threat to humans or, or uh, eating, consuming pork.